So this is the Blackmagic Pixel 6K. Should normal people consider buying this camera? Well, we're about to find out. First, let's talk about image quality. The Pixis shoots 6K OpenGate. For those of you who don't know what OpenGate is, this is what OpenGate looks like. The camera uses the whole sensor instead of cropping to 16 by 9, which comes in very handy if you want to crop to different aspect ratios, especially vertical video. I feel like I have to dance if I'm in a vertical video. I don't know. <laughs> so it shoots 6K. Of course, it also shoots 4K and HD in 16 by 9. Keep in mind that it will crop into the sensor and not use the whole 6K sensor. All right, so the footage you've just seen came from the Pixis in 6K open gate mode using the Blazar Remus Anamorphics. And this combo just looks so great. Next thing you should know is this camera can only shoot in Blackmagic RAW, which is both a good and a bad thing because the image quality looks great, but it is a little tough on your wallet because I do have a 500 gigabyte card in there, which only gives me around one hour and 40 minutes in 6K open gate mode, which you know, isn't a lot. And you can change it to ProRes or any other code element. If this is no issue for you, perfect. And otherwise you will have to learn how to grade B raw footage, which actually isn't that hard. So let's talk about price, which is probably what makes this camera so attractive for people who have may never considered even buying a cinema or a box style camera. The camera costs around $2,999, but for that you only get the camera and only the camera. <laughs> you don't get a battery, you get nothing. Be aware that you will be spending more money than that initial $3,000. I'd say there's three tiers of rig in a camera. The minimal rig, which is just the camera and a lens, and I'd I'd say this is kind of a medium rig because I do have the DJI Focus Pro on here as well as the monitor. And as you've probably seen from other YouTubers there, you can rig this camera out big time. So the reason I bought this camera is because it has that 6K open gate mode, which is perfect for shooting anamorphic because you do get a lot more information at the top and the bottom of your image in comparison to using a 16 by 9 sensor. There's a chopper. Here's a comparison between the Pixis and the A7S III. Keep in mind that I'm using anamorphics which are not that sharp, so don't get too hung up on the sharpness. But in terms of dynamic range, it has 13.5 stops, which is definitely enough, and combined with the B-RAW, you'll have no issues color grading in post for sure. And let's real quick talk about this side monitor, which there is a little bit of confusion around this, I think, because most of us are used to this flip screen that you can flip out and rotate everywhere. And this thing is at a really awkward position on the side. Because if you are shooting like this, it's kind of hard to actually look at the monitor. I don't think this side monitor was ever intended to be your main monitor, because this camera is meant to be rigged out. It literally says it on the package of the camera. So it is best to buy a separate monitor that either goes on top, like I have it rigged out. And I think this monitor is actually just to navigate the menu and everything, but it's just so good that you could confuse it as the main monitor of the camera. One very important thing I forgot to mention is that this camera doesn't really have autofocus. You do have single shot autofocus, I believe right here with native L mount lenses, which this one definitely is not, which means you can press this button and it will focus once, but it won't be continuous. So it won't track you. It doesn't have face tracking or anything. You just have to that single shot focus. Honestly, I think that's a deal breaker for a lot of people because every camera has autofocus these days. So I ended up buying a DJI Focus, Focus Pro. So I could have reliable autofocus on this camera. So this is probably the worst thing about this camera. No real autofocus. That's something that you definitely have to know. So should normal people actually buy this camera? Well, I consider myself a normal person, kind of, <laughs> but I did buy it because I wanted to get into more of this cinematography world. This was my first time rigging a camera, which was a lot of fun. And I purchased this camera mainly to shoot anamorphic. And so far using this combo was an absolute blast. If you have a good reason to buy this camera, go ahead and the Pixis 6K might be your new camera. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.